Welcome back to part two of building this Hot Wheels Matchbox. Are you recording me? No, I'm just yeah, it's a little full over here. Part two. I don't know what we're gonna really call this video, but this is the part where we we're gonna build the roads, put everything down. We kind of laid everything out, figured out where we kind of wanted it. We got our little motel. Wait till you guys see what else we got. But first, before I show you all that, what we're gonna do in this video, before I show you what else we got, we're gonna pretty much take all this cork board down and I'm gonna cut this out because once you do that, this actually will bring this up and bring it up a little bit level with it. So you've got a smoother transition and we're gonna pretty much glue this cork board down to the table and then we'll do our roads, we'll throw our grass on. Grass came in the mail the other day. We've got a big box of stuff. We got this off of Amazon. It looks real next to the old. It looks a lot more real. The old stuff is really bright green. It works, it does the job, it's cheap and easy. But this stuff right here is $10 a roll and this is one roll of it. And I ordered four rolls. We're gonna go ahead and glue this down. So this is pretty much how this layout is gonna be whenever our store, or Splunker, Starbucks, shop, gas station, dealership. And this right here is like a warehouse building. And this building, probably what we're gonna have like a muscle car shop or performance shop. That's where we'll put our dinos and all that stuff in there. Gluing down this cork board. And then after I got this, this was stuff in the roll, which I don't like because it's already found its shape. And then I found the squares. If you could find the squares, I would just go with the squares because they actually butt up pretty nice. Yeah, you'll get that little crack right there. Once you start putting this stuff down and putting paint on it and stuff, you're not even gonna see that because the paint will fill into those. Now in the future, I'll just use these squares and just put it down like tile. Here's my diner kit that I got off of eBay. I think I paid like 13 bucks for it, Ship. We're gonna go ahead, do some painting to it. So I was looking at this and I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my Dremel and I'm gonna flatten all this out. When you look at a car up next to it, see how tall and see how big it looks? It's not to proper scale because this is actually O scale and we wanna bring it down to a 164 scale so what i'm gonna actually do is shave it down and cut it down to where essentially the diner is going to be setting about like that so i'm just going to basically just cut the whole bottom section of all of these off prime it paint it and make it look sweet but i'll show you guys the finished product there's the custom diner that i built it's not done yet and i completely modified it we got our little motel in here look what else came in the mail this thing is massive. It's a huge gas station. This is probably more of a gas station that everyone probably recognizes, more so than you know a smaller Texaco. Really smooth, the transition right there. Once we paint all this, get all the grass in, it's gonna look good. We got no lift. Did we? Yeah. We're, oh yeah, look at this. We got some lifts. My guy that made the lifts, let me show you what else we got. The guy that built this, he 3D printed it. It turned out amazing. Wait till you see it. You guys will probably recognize it. But check this out. We have the Fast and the Furious house going on right here. This thing is pretty sweet. I actually just got my foam board and shaped it and molded it to work for the house. Because when you get the house, it's all 3D printed. So it's just white plastic. It's got the garage back here. I kind of like reshaped the driveway a little bit. So as you come right here, you can actually fit three cars. That's why I did that like that. Just because I think in the movie, it just went like straight or whatever. But the detail on this house is amazing. That's not it. Wait till you guys see the inside of this thing. Even the inside of the house. That is wild. This is probably one of the best Fast and the Furious house little model kit that I've seen. Once I get it all painted up and it's gonna look more real and get some grass on here and get all this stuff mounted, it's gonna look sick. I can't wait to get all that done. It's it's gonna look sweet. I'm gonna put like a regular house over here. I'm probably not gonna use this house. Maybe put a fence with a junkyard or something over here. We're just still trying to figure it all out, but I did add another table. So we've got like this little L-shaped thing going on. I'm gonna have to get the rest of my cork board down and build this thing. Just so you guys know, like all these little buildings that I have built have started like this. This is pretty much, I've already opened it. That's why it's not, everything was all in plastic and it was all nice, neatly packaged. But look at these things. I mean, this is pretty much these kits. It's a lot of stuff. So cool, Come, got the stickers and all. So 
we got a lot to do. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with building this thing because it's gonna take a long time to build it, but we'll just go ahead and show you. And there is the gas station fully built. This thing turned out awesome. It's actually an HO scale, but it fits these. I mean, these are green light, which is a 164 Hot Wheel Matchbox. It, it fits those just perfect. I mean, that thing, it looks good. The size proportion looks good to me. It's pretty sweet. That thing looks like a legit gas station. It even has the downspouts. What do you think of the gas station, Logan? I love it. You pulling in? Mm-hmm. Mustangs in the way. Mustangs in the way? Yeah. That thing is sweet. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to get like some sort of Wawa logo to put there. Or Roll Farms. I don't know. We might put something there, but right now we don't have any logo, so this could be any gas station. And we went ahead and finished all the cork board, laying that all down. You can see where we notched it out for a couple of the little green light buildings. Will you put that in there, bud? They fit perfect in there and it gives you that nice smooth transition. And then we got the Texaco gas station here. But we're about to take those up and we're gonna paint this and we're gonna use a foam roller and we've got our acrylic, that black paint. Oh, you got another one too. Got our white and we've got a mason jar. The reason why we got the mason jar is because we are going to mix a little bit of the white in here. We're gonna kind of tone down the black a little bit just so we can get more of like a dark, like a charcoal. We don't want black jet black roads so we're going to tone it down with the white and when i mix it i'm going to just mix it in here so i have a full batch of this black paint so when i go to if i want to add anything or change anything it'll all match you gonna help me paint this logan mm -hmm. all right first thing we got to get all of this stuff off and start painting see you later brown so you got to tell me logan i'm gonna put the paint in here and you're gonna have to tell me when it looks like a road color okay all right, because right now, the black, that's gonna be way too black. Mm. All right. That looks too black. Yeah, it looks like tar. Maybe a fresh road when it's like first done. But we want our roads to look a little aged, right? Yeah. Looks like the roads We could have probably put this in the blender. What do you think? Mm. No? Like a smoothie? Yeah. I don't think mama would be too happy with us if we did that. Yeah, we'll probably get painted in this movie. Probably. We'll give her her mason jar back when we're done. Should we? Or should we keep it? Keep it. When the town is done, we'll give it back. That mm -hmm. might be all of the white. <laughs> what do you think? You want to just put it all in there? <coughs> it did tone it down quite a bit. I think that looks good. What do you think? I think that'll work, bud. The black's empty. Yep. Yeah, they're both empty, so we pretty much went with the entire 16 ounce of black, two ounces of white, and that gave us our road color. We're winging it, aren't we, buddy? Yeah. We're just going to go with it. It's you ready to start painting? Painting time. Yeah, I just did that little test right there. That looks perfect. You're doing a great job, buddy. It's about to be done. It's done. Little man, help me paint this. It actually looks like real asphalt. We put two coats on here. I mean, so far it looks really, really good. I am glad that we mixed it down a little bit so it's not complete black, which kind of gives it that real look. For the gas station, what I did was I notched it out and then I used a thinner piece of cork. So when you put the pump station in there, it's flush. Then we notched out for the green light garage in Texaco and in the car dealership. And if anybody else decides to build a town, I just go ahead and paint the whole thing. And the reason is, is let's say when I'm laying it out and putting the grass on, I usually use the grass and the all that stuff for shaping and making my roads. If you decided last minute you want to move something over or just slide something, in this case, you don't have to worry about it because everything is painted. We're just going to go ahead and wait for it to dry. Once it starts drying, we're going to set the buildings out on it, start laying out some grass and the lines on the road. So once we get the grass all laid out, the buildings out, the lines on the road, we'll kind of show you guys. It won't be a finished product quite yet. There's going to be another video where we are going to light this thing up with a bunch of lights. We're going to put pole lights in it, light up street signs, and do a bunch of cool stuff to it, aren't we, buddy? We already bought the light stuff. Yeah, we did. We're going to do the lights last because once we get everything in here, then I can run the power and do all that stuff. Here comes the grass section. We laid this part out right here already, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is the grass that we got. We picked it up off of Amazon, and it looks pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with how it looks, but... 
that's an entire roll right here and this is the entire roll which is kind of going off the table a little bit but what I'm gonna go ahead and do right here I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything to the shape that I want and then just use some simple Elmer's glue glue it down and that should be the grass but we'll show you guys the finished product started laying out my grass I just get in a zone and I completely like just lose the track of time and everything else I need to do and I was like you know what I'm started putting down these little stripes this is just pinstriping and I have the double yellow line for the center of the road so that's what I'm gonna do now is just stick that on and then this is my warehouse I open that up I glue this cork down I made this smooth little transition took a Dremel and I sanded it just in it. I'm going to paint it black so it's going to look like a buildup of asphalt. You'll see it's just smooth. Because that's the thing. All of your transitions for everything doesn't seem to like match up right. So that was like my big thing. Like even for the gas station. I've got that just so smooth. I mean it is perfect. And it looks legit like a concrete slab with the asphalt that butts up to it. Right now I'm going to go ahead and put down this white line. There we go. There's the main road. What's this one? That's, that's what we're going to do for the parking spots. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to paint this warehouse building white. And we're going to leave the roof and the side doors gray. And then we're going to do something with the floor. You want to hurry up and put down these lines and just show them the finished product. And then the next part will be Fast and the Furious house complete. We got the roads done and now and the lines on it and now we're going to paint the garage floor so what color are we painting the garage floor of gray why'd you go with gray logan because that's a good color for a garage floor we got this little slab right here designed for this building are we going to paint this building too i don't know you don't know mm -hmm. well you remember me telling you that i didn't like the yellow I think we're gonna paint it white, but we'll leave the doors and stuff gray on it. We got all of our parking spots spaced out. You ready to paint? Mm -hmm. Where's the paint? Where do you want it? Right here. Right there? Mm -hmm. That's where we're gonna start. Let's see how it looks. That's looking good, bud. I kinda like that color. I chose the right choice. It, it sounded oh. like fart. Sounded like what? It sounds like party. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. While we're waiting for the shop floor in there to dry, we're gonna go ahead and paint the shop, and then while we're painting the shop, we got a few other things we're gonna paint with the Fast and Furious house. Yeah. Yeah. He's getting the paint ready. So we've got the primer. This is the color that we're actually gonna do on the Fast and Furious house. It's a satin, it's a off-white, and then this is the shop. We're gonna do a semi-gloss on the shop. So we got the shop pulled apart, Fast and Furious house. And I don't know if I showed it in the video before, but the whole inside of this thing actually has a floor layout. And I've, I just taped it all off. But the guy that built this, man, the detail on this thing is crazy. So I taped off the pillars, all the windows, and everything. But this I'm going to shoot with all primer, and I'm going to try to give it that rustic barn look. Primer. Warehouse shop walls are... Pretty much painted in the Fast and the Furious house. I didn't go heavy on the roof, which I kind of like how it came out. The primer still kind of shown a little bit, which kind of gives it that distressed look because it is an older house. I went to the store and I grabbed two different shades of brown. And after looking at photos, I think this is going to be the brown we use for the roof. This is the color that we used on the house. It's like this off satin white. Dom's garage. I practiced on the door. That's kind of like the the look we're gonna kinda go for, a distressed look, that's the first coat, and I'm brushing this on. And then I'll hit it with some brown, 
some gray and just kind of just start blending it making it look distressed and it'll give it that old barn look and i did hit this half with that paint that i just showed you and that will sit right there i'm going to paint the driveway with the retaining wall it's like you can't really tell on the camera but this is it's light beige As you can see, I'm just like sitting here mixing stuff. I'm using my hands, fading stuff, blending it with just a reddish brown, gray, brown. Pretty much how I got that garage barn looking. And it looks pretty sweet. On the side, I was using the gray, the brown, and the white to kind of get that distressed wood. And then on the roof, I was using like a darker brown, gray, and red brown to kind of give it like a rustic. And then this is an off white and it's got to look like concrete. So the concrete's like kind of like, a, it's like a beige white. Just start blending all the different colors to kind of get that. That looks pretty sweet. So while we're waiting for that to dry, notched out my foam board. And now I'm going to wrap it in grass. It came out pretty good. Warehouse is back together. We've got her painted. The floor is pretty much done. Looks really good. I just haven't taking up the tape right there. Logan did a really good job on that paint job. Here is the Fast and the Furious house all finished. You can see we got the grass on there. We put the trees in the yard. We finished it all up. I staged it with some Fast and the Furious cars. I did get this fencing right here. Some of the pictures I've seen online, the house had the fencing, but in the movie, the house never had the fencing. So I'm not sure we're gonna actually use that, but it does, it doesn't look bad. We still haven't really figured out where we're gonna set this. I, I need to get another table. To build some more because i've got a lot more planned check out the roof like how i did that but this turned out awesome i mean it looks pretty it looks pretty good i'm happy with how that turned out and with the floor i made it look epoxy and i picked up that it was a can of spray paint from michael's taped it off to kind of get that nice transition line painted all this to make it look like concrete there's the other side of the house now the only thing we need for the backyard is a picnic table and this is kind of cool if you guys didn't catch that already but the full layout of the inside of the house but that's super cool this thing is super cool i like it if anyone else wants to pick one up i'll link the guy's facebook page that makes this he does a bunch of 3d printing he makes a few other things i think i've seen like diners he also made the lift that is in there so he makes a bunch of accessories and he's got a few other buildings that he makes. I'll just link his Facebook page in here if you guys want to pick one up. But keep in mind, the guy is located in Canada, so shipping is a little expensive. I think it was 25 or 30 bucks just to ship that. It looks super good. So if you want it, the only thing you're going to have to do is just paint it. Are you guys ready to see the finished product, but not finished? It's So it's not finished, is it, Logan? Nope. We've got a finished product, but it's not finished. Let me just back up right here. So this, it's not fully finished, but it's partially done. We've got a lot left to do, and we're going to get another table. We're going to add a lot more. I've got some plans. We still got our junkyard that we need to build. We've got a car wash that we need to build. I think we're going to do a drag strip. We're going to do a few other things. So we've got a lot more left to do. This is just the beginning. This is the start of it. First thing you see when you come into town, we've got our shop over here. Open this door right here. We've got a Camaro on the dyno right there, which is, that's super cool. <laughs> We've got a bunch of lifts. I haven't put the lifts in yet. I've got a bunch of two post lifts. We've got a lot of stuff. We've got one two post lift in that garage over there. And look at how real these roads look. We got Logan driving down the wrong side of the road. We've got a little store right here. And you're on the wrong side of the road, Logan. He's driving a red eye. And then we've got our splunkers over there, which we need to get some signs. And like I said, we're not fully done. Starbucks over there, and as you see, Marty McFly, he's in the parking lot. We've got a shop right here. Okay. And we've got the C10 on the lift. So inside this shop, we got a Fox body that's getting the engine pulled. We got the GT500, the Camaro, and the C10. Then we've got our Texaco gas station. Car dealership over there. We've got little balloons and for sale signs and a bunch of other stuff that goes on that, but we haven't put it on there yet. 
We're gonna do another final video once we get this thing lit up with all the lights, and I'm gonna have this thing completely staged for you guys. So you're gonna have to see that video. Dad, and... you're towing you. Well, you're towing me. Oh my goodness. There's the diner, the motel over there in the corner. And we've got our big gas station right there. We got the GT500 and the C10 over there getting some fuel. This is pretty much the layout. What are you doing over here, buddy? Huh? This car on the way. We are going to bring this episode to a wrap, but we got more coming. This thing is not finished by far. We are still going to light this thing up. So the next episode you're going to see us, we're going to install light up signs, lights, as you see right now. You get a little sneak peek if you made it all the way to the end of the video. We already put in the pole lights and these things are, we're going to light this whole place up. And that's going to be in the next video and then we're going to, I guess, after we do all that, I mean, well, we've already been playing on it. We're gonna start playing. What do you think, buddy? He's been playing on it the whole time. Let me know, what do you guys think of this? And if you like this video, I created a playlist for these type of videos. So check that out, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the diorama, and if you have any ideas for us, please drop them in the comment section because we are planning on expanding. So. With that being said, we are going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace. And it's going to be more lit up than it is right now.